OTD on one of the um, one of the members here, one of the member artists here, and um, we're a cooperative gallery. Right now we have about 25, 26 members, and um, I want to thank Tricia, who's the director of the gallery, also um, one of the members. We, we all have different jobs, um, from, from being director to um, really probably one of the most important jobs is the person who sits in the gallery um, every, every month we have so that we can stay open and have people here. All right. <laughs> I'm going to introduce Jackie really quickly because Jackie will introduce herself. One of the joys um, in my job is that I get to um, come here during the weekends and, and just sit with the person whose gallery is sitting. I'm the sitter for the gallery sitter. And um, so I could spend hours here and, and, and got to know Jackie, Jackie really well. And, uh, and listening to her process, part of um, listening and the artist folks is so that we as a community get to hear what, how Jackie works so that when David is here sitting in the gallery and someone comes up and looks at her art, he has, he has the ability to really talk about what, what, what she does and how she does it. And so we get to um, be able to do that, be ambassadors for each other. So Jackie has been very gracious in how she's taught me and talked to me about her art. And I look forward to her speaking about her pieces. Jackie. Thank you, Bob. Anyway, uh, so my name is Jackie Forretti, and I have been with the gallery for roughly 10 years. And I have um, studied um, for uh, many years. I started doing art, uh, really hooked on it when I was a child, and eventually was an art major and uh, went, uh, became a teacher. And I taught high school art for 25 years. And um, all the while, still going to workshops constantly for myself to be constantly wor wor working on my stuff and learning and so forth. And I, um, along with that, my, my, my thinking with my art, with what I produce in my art, has two major parts to it that, that, that makes my art anything that has to do with me and how I think and how I feel and how I express. And uh, one, of it, one part of it is that I have this, uh, something that drives my husband crazy, but I always want to change everything. And constantly, it just drives him crazy. <laughs> but, but it works for me, because I will do something many, many, many times, rip it apart, and I love the process. So, uh, and along with that, what helps me, uh, what's keep me more um, uh, quiet and aware and able to express myself without being too off, you know, is that I've been uh, practicing Buddhism and meditation for many, many years, 20 some odd years. And uh, many, uh, the, uh, the Zen Mountain Monastery in Mount Tremper, New York, and I, I, I'm st I still have to be, go there visiting. So I, it has informed me so much. When I did my, um, I did my master's at um, University um, of Art here in Philadelphia, I did my uh, master's thesis on uh, meditation and how it affects your creativity. And I, I actually uh, interviewed five different artists for that. And I went up to the monastery and spent the weekend and, and interview, interviewed. There was a dancer, a ceramic artist, a, everything, a, a singer. And, they, and I wanted to know from in the beginning, how did you start out? How did you start thinking that you were going to be creating in the way you do? And there was one thread that went through every single uh, expression from each of them. And that was that it, it, it changed them, their art, the making of the art, all right, and the meditation. And th th there couldn't be one without the other. That when they were um, feeling that they were lost and what they were trying to create and frustrated, they would, they would actually find a way to actually think about how they were thinking and then get back into who, who are you? Who really are you? And then really work on that 
practice and then go back to your art. And one, one example of that is the famous uh, painter Pat Steer was one of the, oh, at a month long uh, retreat that I went to at the, at the monastery. She was one of the artists that was working with us, I and mean, we're all artists. And she um, just told us to sit on the floor and uh, just gave us rough paper and a pencil. And we were to be, of course, you have to always be quiet <laughs> in the Zen monastery, <laughs> which is tough for me. But anyway, and we were to do nothing but draw lines. All right, over and over again, just ac across the paper, any way we wished, and uh, don't get uh, cute about it. You're just doing the line, all right? Mm -hmm. And repeat it very, very slowly and, and silently. And we had to do that for a, like an hour and a half without, uh, you know, carrying on. <laughs> so we, so I, I, and it was so telling. It was one, and, and that is a good practice that I still do. So when I, when I don't know what I want to paint, I might just actually keep, go back to that and just do lines. And I love that. And, and I, you'll see in some of the things I, like little dots and little lines, I just love that. And so anyway, <laughs> so I, my ego got carried away with me at the beginning of that um, uh, practice that we had to do for her, though, because... In the beginning, I thought, oh my God, listen to you. I'm, I'm talking to myself. I, I was doing about the first four or five lines, and I thought, look, they're all perfect. They're all, they're all I can't help it, but they're straight, and everyone is even. You know? And I thought, oh my God, <laughs> you're awful. <laughs> so I finally got over that. <laughs> and then, and then, just, then delighted in the fact that they were messy. Yes, and they weren't always pretty. And that wasn't a bad thing, okay? <laughs> so that's my, that's my philosophy, okay? So um, I'll, I, I can point to a few examples of that, all right? Um, okay, in this particular lost and found work, this uh, started with my, my husband's son, Ryan, is a carpenter, and he decided that he was going to bring over all this old, odd uh, pieces of wood that he was, just was going to be thrown out. And he actually would, would come over with piles and piles of it. And, and, some, and some of it is just this, it's just plasterboard, you know, and then some is, some, there's wood, there's walnut, and I, and I just got so excited. I, I never work with wood. And so I'd love to do even more because I knew nothing about it. <laughs> so, so then I, I, was, I knew I'm a collector of junk, uh, for my whole life, so I had plenty of things to play with and, and throw out. So I'll start with this. This this one is called Winter Snow, and it's on a wick a wicker charger. You know, which is what you put your face on, right? And it's oils, all right, with nails. And these are those antique nails that have a little ridge on the bottom. And they were in an old tool chest that I had. And I I always loved them, but I didn't know what I was going to do with them <laughs> for years. So um, I, I played with them for a while, and I, I strung them on, on wire, and I, you know, stacked them up and all that, and it was, all, it was going nowhere. And then I just changed and went to another piece, you know. And then uh, this was already painted white. The chart, this is, this is oil, and then it's painted white. And these are the little uh, impressions from, it's, this is wicker, all right? So it looks like snow, like, like, like dirty snow when you go out afterwards and you see the footsteps and it gets all dirty. So it, it was obviously snow. <laughs> so so I, I just made this all and I thought, it's a, it's a scene. It's, it's, it's the winter. It's a snow winter scene. And there's nothing on this, the trees because it's all barren. And there, there it is. <laughs> right? So it was just so simple. I just loved it. Um, this, this one, I wish Judith was here because I stole some items from her. She's another artist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she came in one day with a whole box of stuff because she does all those beautiful houses and things, all miniature pieces. And she, um, besides her beautiful oil paintings that are here, but she had, it was all junk. And 
uh, she said, anyone in the, in the gallery who wants any of it can use it. It's yours, right? So I have to give her credit here. <laughs> so this was one of the pieces was in there. And it's one of those, it's a nail. Is there a certain name for that? I don't know, but I don't know whether um, woodworking people use that or something, but it, this is all metal, and this, these are all nails. And um, this is a grate that I found on the street, all right, just on a, like, a, like a vent for something. And uh, it was thrown away. I don't really know how it was used, but I painted this and uh, its oils, and I loved the fact that it has holes in it, and I could pick and pick and pick. Because I'm a very tactile person. I love to scratch and pick and scrape, you know, till the cows come home. <laughs> but so this, so I love the fact that I could, I could see beyond and there were all these different colors happening. And the back of it has multi-colors. I won't take it off now, but, well, I will. Anyway, so as you hang it, light comes through and there's a whole different weird thing on the back side. <laughs> Okay, so, and this little, this is a little thing for uh, one of those uh, chimes, you know, that broke, that broke that I used to have, so I thought, well, okay, that goes there, and I, it just felt like a door to me, you know, yeah. and so it's called, the, the, the door was always open, which is a favorite phrase from a singer <laughs> that I love, anyway. And this one, and the other uh, nail piece, all right, were from uh, when my uh, grandparents' uh, uh, house in the Philadelphia was uh, torn down. Um, I, uh, it was very close to where I live, and I, I did a whole show on this, so I don't, I want, I don't want to go into that, but... These are examples because these were nails. I was very attached to finding something from. I never met my grandfather. You know, he was a tailor. It was in the tailor shop, and he died very, very young. And I, I wanted everything I could just grasp, and just knowing it was from that. that this is still from that ground, you know. So these were nails that I literally dug in the mud. <laughs> <laughs> And then I, I was playing, there were the two pieces and I was playing with them and I thought, oh, it's a bird, you know? So, and then this one um, was, was uh, just, a, it's just a, this was actually in the, in the ground too. They weren't old, old nails. They're, they're not, you could tell by how they're made, right? But, but I just loved it. it was, I loved the symmetry of it. It was just, it's just one piece. And I just thought that was beautiful, you know, just, and, and it was just, I don't have to do anything with it, and there it is, you know. <laughs> um, anyone, any questions about any, any pieces at all? Or? Um, the black cat. The black cat. Oh, okay. Well, what's your question? Um, what, what did you make that out of? It's really, I love it. It just speaks to me. Okay, this is, again, my found objects. So th this was, I have a couple more left at home, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But, <laughs> but, the, but these are just from like Ikea. These are metal, metal silver things that, uh, that for you to put on your wall just to be uh, an abstract silver thing, mm -hmm. you know? And, yeah, pardon me? But it was like a magnet for a magnet. For a magnet? You think it was for a magnet? Okay, that's, yeah, could be. <laughs> anyway, so, um, so I painted oil all over it, and th these are ideas. I love making all these different road map, like lines, and, and uh, you know, and, and so changing the color, too, of uh, the oil with, with this behind it and everything. And this is paper, all right, and I painted over it, too. And um, I just loved that... Um, that was like the last thing I put on there, and that it just was, that there was a cat there. It was just, there's the cat, you know? <laughs> In the area that you did that But, oh, here, this? Oh, this is, this, this is really, now, so these things that don't have an, a, a, a tag, all right, so this is, this is uh, Judith's too. Uh, don't you love it? It's just, it's just beautiful. <laughs> but I didn't make it, right? That was one of the things I took from her. Um, yeah. th but th <laughs> this, was, 
this, this is just a little trinket that was from my grandfather's tailor shop in the ground. And, and uh, it's, just, it's just, I love that it just has little, it's a piece of wood that must have had some kind of a little image on it. And it still has flecks of the paint, you know? And I, and I you know, just thought. This could be, it looks like an amulet that you could make as a, you could wear as a necklace. Yes, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah why not? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, so besides. So other things, this is an oil painting, all right, that um, really, this was, this is a, uh, I admit this is not from an object, this is on canvas, oil on canvas, but I happened to be doing it while I was doing this stuff, so it, my, my, my thinking and all was, you know, with that, okay, and um, this, this is, um, falling through the cracks. I, I did, I have a few more at home, but this was when I was doing pieces that were about the homeless. And, and, and this one called impermanences as well, uh, where the cracks in the, on the, uh, when you cross the street in the city, you, 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 that's what you see, it's from a photograph of the cracks and everything. And I first, first I thought those cracks are gorgeous, you know? And then I, I painted with it. I painted onto this and so forth. And this is uh, a, a different uh, painting also. But I, uh, I just thought of, you know, falling, like the homeless are falling through the cracks. Nobody's saving them. And, the, um, and this was with, with counting the number of, of homeless that die, you know, every single that die every day. And so, so I did all these, like, digits, you know, and then they, they, they fade and fade and fade until they're gone. Um, <clears throat> this one is from a dream that I had that I, um, <clears throat> this is one of the fastest things I ever did. It was like 15 minutes or something because it, because it was so uh, inside me, you know. I woke up from a dream and it was one of those dreams that I was startled, that I it was so real. I, I, the dream was about a mother bird whose, whose babies were dying, and the only way she could save them is if she turned herself into a nest. So, um, so I just sat down and thought, I have to draw this. I have to do something with it. And I, and I just took an, a pen, and I just, I just started making the bird, you know, and then putting you know, the eggs in there. Um, now, these here... Are uh, this is a, this is a cup, a uh, white bowl that, that I have. As you could tell, I've used it you know, to mix my paints and do everything. You know, it's a working tool in my um, <clears throat> art room. But I just love the fact that I uh, I love the fact that you can see the the, <laughs> the graphic little uh, little spots. You know, I, I love little black graphic lines and spots, you know, that uh, don't really form anything, but they're gorgeous. And then this is the mark that goes on this, this board, this, uh, what is it called again, Bob? Uh, plasterboard, yeah. Plasterboard. It's, it's just plasterboard. And, uh, and I didn't know what this was, so I had to ask my, <coughs> my uh, husband's son, and he said, it's just, it's just a stamp. You know, when they make the board, it's just that they're all stamped that way. And I thought, I love this stamp. That's great. <laughs> you know, it just goes with it, you know? Yeah, and why? And I'm not ashamed of it. And it's just like, it's good, you know? So this is, this is um, I, 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 you could tell I use this for paint and so forth, and it was ink. And uh, it's called Ocean in a Cup. And I, and I was finishing, you know, something. And I just thought, this is beautiful. I took it, like, to dive into there. You know, and so I, I, I do have an appreciation for things that are old and falling apart because I'm getting there myself. <laughs> Maybe that has something to do with it. <laughs> but I, I just think they're precious, you know. And um, all right, so this is um, this is something I I found somewhere, and it's a makeup box, a wooden makeup box. But I I just love the the red in there, and so I. I I did some painting around it, like drips and so forth that kind of went with it. And <clears throat> do you see the other part of the, of the box? 
Yeah, yeah, David's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you, David. Yeah, so this is this is this was the lid that fits right here. So um, so I painted it white and I found that I don't know what this is called. This is this is some kind of a, a tool. A disc, a metal tool. I don't know. It doesn't matter, but it was an old old tool uh, Rusted thing, so I made that the head, you know, and I painted this white, and I like that it was all scratchy and everything. Um, and this <clears throat> was, I was uh, <clears throat> at the train station, um, and I was, uh, look, I was getting a train ticket, and I looked through the cage, and I saw the lady's stamp pad as she gives you your, your, your ticket, and all she stamps and stamps. And I, I looked at it, and, I looked, and this is what it was. I thought, oh, that's beautiful. Like, there you go. There's those little black, you know, things. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, uh, and you could still read them, like the date and everything. But, they're, but you know, I just love that they just play. They're, they're just little pieces of, of life. You know, people going to the train station. She gave it to you. <laughs> Pardon me? She gave it to you. Uh, oh, yeah, she, she was yes, laughing at me. She, oh. she said, why, why do you want that? Like, why? I don't understand. No one's ever asked me for that. <laughs> why would you want that? <laughs> and I'm like, oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> because your eyes see something that a lot of people wouldn't see. That she just sees it every day. And yes. It doesn't mean that much to her. Yes, yes, yeah. And how many things do we do that yeah, with? Yes. Right. yes. Yeah. So when you look at it, you see an art form. Oh, yeah. So there's something, you know, another stamp. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. That's, that's the fun of it. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, so this, and this is a heart that I found. And um, it's, I, I'm not sure what kind of, what it is, but what, what kind of metal it is. But I just, I just love it because it's a heart, you know, and I painted the background. And this was a, um, a sketch I did. It was a, a sketchbook of mine, and I, I would always keep falling, you know, like coming across it. And I, and I, for some reason, I was always attached to it. It's just a, a charcoal drawing that I did. But I thought, well, there's a found object that I, I, I should do something with it. <laughs> so, so there she is. <laughs> and. Uh, this was a surprise. And now, so this is this is the, the same kind of board that this is, but I um, I, I have no I, I really don't know much about painting on wood at all. But I, I've always experimented. But this is, this was just this is just oil paint on it, but several layers. And um, and this woman showed up, you know, from this darkness and everything, and she just flew up, and she has. You know, she, there's her face, and she has her little straw hat, and she has big breasts falling down. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she's just floating, like, like up to the sky. And I thought, then you should be there. I'm going to leave you alone. <laughs> um, and this is windows and doors. And um, so this is the same metal thing of the other one, of the cat. Even, even though this already has all kinds of holes in it and you know, marks that are it's falling apart and everything. Like, that's not enough for me. I'll keep scraping it, <laughs> doing other things with it. And uh, so there's paper, all right, and uh, images, and, uh, and then faces. Faces come, in, come up into my work a lot. You see the woman's face with the red lipstick? But you don't have to see that. That's just what I saw. <laughs> you could just say no. <laughs> um, now this one is. Um, this was fun. This was that. You could, can you see the horse here? And it's an indentation, and actually goes in. in. Okay. So that was one of the pieces of wood that. That my stepson Ryan gave me, and uh, and, the, and these are these were just things junk in my collection, which are actually if you turn them over, they are like letters and numbers of an old-fashioned printing press thing. And yeah, I have a whole bunch more. Like, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they're really fun. 
So I just thought, oh, it's a horse, and I did play a little bit with the edges to, to define it, but I didn't have to do much. The horse was there. I didn't put, you know, I didn't really add that much to it. And I just felt like this is, this is he's, you know, he's come, he's come back, he's waiting at the gate. And this, this was something that, this was in, in the tailor shop, this piece. And I, that's been many things. I, I've been playing with it for a long time. <laughs> but I just happened to have this stuff around and, and I just thought, well, let me just throw this on here at the end of the, to fill up the wall. You know? <laughs> so, I think I covered it. I think this one you missed, the black one, the paint, is it? Oh, uh, this one? Oh, yeah, this is, um, this is Traces. I, this, this, I still am um, so in love with paint that's with all the buildings that are being torn down in Philadelphia and all of the beautiful colors and textures of the paint as it's chipping down. Well, this, this was actually the paint on the wall of my, of my grandfather's tailor shop. And, and I was able to, this was something I was able to peel away without it being nothing, you know, being dust, you know. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I just really loved it because of the shape of it. It looks like something that's, you know, antique, you know, some building or something or whatever. <laughs> but just the fact that I had the shards of the paint from this place, you know. Yes, yes, yes. I started out as most artists and everything, as painting things realistically. Mm -hmm. okay. Of course, you have to do that, learn how to do that. But I very quickly like went abstract. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I am totally abstract. Yeah. yeah, I'm taking up too much time. No, no, you're doing great. <laughs> okay, doing great. Thank you, Joe.